Hey guys, welcome back to Tasty Lessons. Today we're going to do noodle bowls. This is a super, super easy um, setup. It's not even really a recipe. Uh, it's more of just mise en place uh, that I put in containers and then uh, pre-prep and then make in about 10 minutes. So this, the idea behind this is to have a super quick, easy meal that you could either do if you're running home on your lunch break or you are running around two, three nights out of the week where you need something quick um, and easy and practically done for you. So the, a good idea would be to like, you know, on a Sunday, chop up some, I have some celery here. Um, I didn't even cut the mushrooms. I bought them already cut up. Peppers I cut, but you could already buy them uh, cut up. Same thing with onions. I did the, uh, I grabbed a pack of the matchstick carrots, a little bit of spinach, and I actually bought grilled chicken, now, already grilled. Um, you could do maybe raw chicken and uh, bake it or boil it ahead of time. Um, I have some udon noodles, uh, and they were kind of cool. They came, they're, they're already cooked. Um, all you really have to do is soften them up a little bit, and they came in this like little pack. It was the it was the neatest thing. Uh, I thought they would be more raw. Udon noodles are made with uh, flour, so if you want to do rice noodles, you can do those ahead of time. I have a little bit of chicken stock here, and I, for flavoring, I have ginger garlic scallions. When I was in culinary school, and we did our uh, oriental class it was called because uh, it referred to the style of cooking we went we did a lot of things and our instructor was from China and she would always start everything with GGS ginger garlic scallions so I have some fresh ginger I cut it up but hey I'm making a video I have time you can always get the um, there's ginger already like a little paste you can get that garlic was already chopped and I just chopped a few uh, scallions up and here I have a little tiny bit. I don't really like uh, sesame oil that much. So I have a tiny little bit in there with just some regular cooking oil. And for flavorings, I have some soy sauce, uh, chili garlic paste, and some hoisin sauce. And again, that's up to you. If you don't want that flavor, if you just want a, you know, a nice clean flavor of the broth, that's fine. Um, I also have some peanut sauce, a little lime, and cilantro for the top. Uh, I, we get pan, uh, ponzu, you could just do soy, you know, whatever your uh, favorite flavor is, that's what you can put on it, or not. Um, if you want to make it uh, all vegetarian and no meat at all, no I guess it would even be uh, vegan because there's nothing in here that would make it have any animal products in it. Um, you could use, if you use vegetable broth. So this is so flexible. If you um, if you have other people in the household, you know, they can come home, make themselves something real quick. And I, I actually got, this pan is awful. It's, uh, you know, I think I paid like $5 for it 10 years ago and it's banged up for moving and everything, but it's a non-stick. So it's, that's even makes the cleanup even easier. So I'm going to heat up my pan and, you know, our method is going to be stir fry. Once upon a time I had a wok and all that, but this is just as good. Uh, if you have like electric wok that works really well, um, that's always a good thing. They're easy cleanup. So I'm going to heat this up, put my oil in there. Now the key is to heat this hot enough where it's going to cook the vegetables very quickly. When you cook things very quickly like that, it um, the more you cook something, the less nutrients uh, it has as far as vegetables, like fresh vegetables. So we want to do minimal cooking with these. Um, then we'll add our broth and our, our uh, noodles, some flavoring, and then we'll top it with um, our other peanut sauce and our uh, lime. So I don't know if you can see this, but I have, it's smoking. So I want to add those. Okay, doesn't take long. Okay. 
put that out of the way. Just cooking enough to give it, um, to maybe wilt the spinach, uh, get everything nice and hot. Then we're gonna add our broth and our noodles. And that's a lot of stuff. This is probably for a couple people uh, here. And you could add more noodles if you'd like. And I'm just gonna simmer that for a bit. Break up the noodles. They're kind of a little stuck together. You, and you could do this, I know you got a pack of ramen in that cupboard of yours. You could drag that out and use that. Um, but it is a super, super simple recipe or procedure, I guess you would say. I'm just gonna let that come to a boil and finish, make sure everything is hot and the noodles are all broken up. So it's just an easy, easy dinner that you can prep way ahead of time and then uh, just bring everything out, set it on the counter. Hey, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? And you could even do individually or hey, make your own, make your own, make your own. Uh, after I'm done, make mine. So we have that now. And I want to add just a tiny bit of soy sauce to mine just to give it a little salty flavor. A, a little bit of hoisin goes a long way, so we're gonna put a little bit of that in there. And yeah, I like chili garlic paste. I am a baby when it comes to spice, but I don't know, there's something about it. It just tastes so good. All right. I'm gonna put it in my bowl, remove it from the heat. And I kind of like to get the guts of it out first and then add the broth. And I just, then I can control what I have in there. And then I can slop broth all over the place. How would I do that if I didn't do this? Okay. So, there you are. Uh, drizzle some peanut sauce on there, throw some cilantro, squeeze a little lime, and that is a super, super quick meal um, that you can make ahead of time. Thanks for watching.